is our uh, event for the Meta Dicky Sharing House. experience like uh, I've never been in uh, such a very good resort before in my whole life. So this uh, camp was started Anis and his wife Malam come with us here with the people to the Dickies in the home. He saw the kids and they like it so much, they want them to be happy. This orphanage is about 135 of them and this event primarily the main reason we have this event is to allow the kids to feel like a normal life you know they can they can go to the hotel and stay they have uh, activity games to play which this is not a privileges to them you know in in Nepal because most of them are without either without parents or their parents is having problems like drug addicts, you know, or even uh, inability to take care of them, like uh, blinds, you know, or, or they have a huge dis disabilities but to say.
can stay home, they can play, they can uh, play different games, they, 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 they enjoy them, plus they teach them new lessons, how to competition with the play. So kids are very happy, I think. When I see Kasila, I really feel respect to him in the sense that you need to have a lot of courage and hard work and a lot of passion, I would say, in order to maintain such a big uh, operation or, you know, to, in order to support uh, all these activities. Kasila is handling uh, a, a lot of activities that are very good to the society, right? Offer homes, rehab house, you know, provide free meals to the homeless, you know, as well as this orphanage. Okay, without their parents to give a guidance, you know, I, I feel they really need someone to help. And I can say that I think uh, Kashila and all the staff are doing very well to ed educate them. Geshila, he's like my father, he's like my godfather. I don't think uh, that, <laughs> I never had idea that I will ever get this chance, like uh, my future was this bright, but since I came here, um, I got to know about Geshila, and in future I want to be like him, I want to serve people. of the time I heard from my wife about Sifu and uh, I met him once for a while. Uh, he's a great person to be very frank. I think he has a very passionate, you know, uh, very great heart uh, as, a pers as, as a person that I, I, I really respect him because it's not easy, you know, for a Malaysia 
you know, to to do this thing in Nepal, you know, so, and he always maintained that, and he has been doing this for the last eight years. time I've spent with my juniors and also with my friends and I did swimming too. In fact I'm not very good at swimming but uh, I learned swimming and uh, we also had a lot of fun. Importantly, is that when they grow up, okay, although they know that they are orphanage, but they know that they are being taken care of with love. So when they grow up, they will continue to spread the love to the society and the, to the community.
I loved everything and I also loved how uh, everyone uh, they put uh, such kind of effort for us just so that we can be happy and we can get different experience. I hope that uh, this event can be continued in the future and I hope that uh, everyone, if given the opportunity, please also support uh, Dickie, uh, Meta Dickie's Shilling House you know, to, to provide them a more comfortable environment to live as well as to educate them to be a better pe person in the future. wish to stay longer and they want they wish to do again because they are very happy. I really really thank you, appreciate and hope you have a wonderful life. I appreciate a lot for their work and for everything they have done so far for us. So thank you so much everyone for everything. So I hope that uh, I can continue such event in the future, okay? And I hope uh, this event can bring a lot of happiness to the kid. Uh, Mr. Hayden, Joyce,
jumpa lagi.